All right, I'm going to quickly run you through how to set up Google Tag Manager on your WordPress site. This will save you a ton of money and a ton of time because uh, paying a developer to do it is just not worth it and it's gonna take longer than it needs to. It literally will take you less than five minutes to set it up. So uh, what I have here, this is my main domain, webris.org, and I've got this little plugin up here. It's a Chrome plugin, it's called Google Tag Assistant. And basically this is gonna help you to verify that your tags are set up. So I'm gonna leave you a link to this underneath the video. Make sure you get it installed. So I've already got Tag Manager set up and Analytics set up on my root domain. I wanna track it on our training domain because I wanna understand how our students are flowing through this. We're also sending some paid traffic here and I wanna be able to retarget based on some landing pages on the subdomain. So if you have it set up on your root domain, it's not gonna pass, Analytics is not gonna to pass to your subdomain. You have to reset it up. So um, I'm just gonna show you really quickly where this tag lies. So. Um, even if you're not familiar with HTML or coding, basically the head tag, this is uh, where you would put Google Analytics traditionally, right? It goes in the head or the footer tag. Tag Manager goes right underneath the opening body tag. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up right now. So uh, just go ahead and log into Tag Manager, uh, set up an account, very easy to do. It's just like setting up analytics and you're just gonna click Create Account. And you're just gonna name this, I'm gonna call it training.webris. You can click on this if you'd like to or not. And then you're gonna put in the domain name without the dub, dub, dub or the HTTP and then web. Unless you're setting this up on an app, then you click those. So I'm just gonna click create. I'm gonna click yes. And what we're gonna get now is the JavaScript code. And we're gonna take this, copy it, and we're gonna paste it into the body text of uh, right underneath the body. So right here, like I showed you, we're gonna paste it right here. So how you do that is very easy. Um, so this is right here, this is the logged in version of my training uh, subdomain. You come over here to appearance and then theme editor and you're gonna click on the header. Now, you're gonna to have to have access to this. Almost every single theme does. You should have access to it. Um, again, it's under editor and then you're gonna to wanna to click on the header.php file. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to locate where the head ends and the body begins. And you're just gonna hit space. I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna copy this, and I'm gonna paste it right in here, and I'm gonna click Update File. And then I'm gonna come back to Tag Manager, and I'm gonna click OK, and I'm gonna click Publish. Publish now, so we publish the tag, uh, and get it live on the site. Now I'm just gonna make sure that it's firing, so I'm gonna refresh this page. Um, and you can see here the tag is reading is on the page. I'm gonna click this, and now see it just fired as green. So now it's firing, it's good, and Tag Manager is all set up. It's really, really that easy. So it's a very simple step. Uh, you just create a new account in Tag Manager. You're gonna copy and paste the code under Theme Editor. Uh, go to the header file and then just paste it right underneath the body tag and uh, you're good to go. And then just use this tag verification system to verify that it's live and you're good. So in the next short video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Analytics um, on your within your Google Tag Manager and get that verified and everything too. So hope you enjoyed it. Leave me any questions in the comments and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thanks guys.